should be an interesting race. You got three Yamahas out there, a couple of Ducatis and a Laverta. A lot of horsepower and torque going down to the ground as they get the green flag and they're off. Alan, is your BCRs on? Chaminade gets a, a fairly good hole shot coming off of there. Underway, a couple of wheels in the air, and they're off. Okay, with these heavyweights, these heavyweight twins bikes, don't be deceived. They're exceptionally fast. They're going to be turning some very good lap times out here. Looks like we got some pretty good racing developing coming up into turn number four for that second place position. second and third, they're coming up through turn four, and they're pretty darn close as they head off into turn number five. Now we're starting to get a little distance on the first place bike. Second and third, though, however, are very close. Already we've got these heavyweight bikes coming out of turn number nine, Trent. looking down at his bike as he gets blown by Bill Fennessy. Did he forget to turn the gas on or something? He, he seems to be, now he seems to be accelerating back up to speed. He was sure was checking some on that bike as he came up the front straightaway. Jason Pereira and George Lovell going at it, handlebar to handlebar going into turn number one. Pereira makes a very clean inside move as they head into the apex of turn one. Still pretty darn close to our leader, Dale Reinhardt on that number 49 EX. Darrell, I believe, currently running about second in the points of this class. Okay, in that heavyweight class, you've got Jean-Charles Manet, who's in a pretty good lead as they head down the back straightaway. Ted Lumpkin on that number 51 XV920 is holding a pretty good lead on second. They've both kind of broken away from the majority of the pack. And you got Wild Bill Fennessy on that foreign machine service sponsored machine heading up into turn number eight. He's in the third position on that Yamaha. So you got Yamaha, Yamaha, Yamaha. <laughs> Running for a second and third in that heavyweight class. starting to set their sights on that first XV920 of Bill Fennessy there back there in the third position. Gary Patton saying, well, here we go. Jason Pereira gets Daryl Reinhardt coming around the track. He's now in the first position in that lightweight class. Daryl's back there in second. He's followed up in third by George Level. John Manier running a very consistent race as he exits four. Lumpkin is slowly but surely starting to close the gap ever so slightly on Manet. It's still a long way to go in this A-lap event. He, he can be a factor as Gary Patton apparently wheels in Bill Fennessy coming out of the exit of four and into five. Apparently got sorted out with his machine, whatever needed to be sorted out. And now opens up about a oh, five or six bike lead on Bill.
Jason Perea heads down the back straight away on that purple EX. As Sean Manet comes across the start finish line for the halfway flag, Ted Lufkin is closing the gap there ever so slightly. He's got four laps in which to make his move and, and calculate his tactics. This is your first call. This is your first call for 750 at Open Super Street. 750 at Open Super Street, race number seven to the pre-grid, please. And once again, Gary Patton starts fiddle doing whatever he's doing with that Ducati and loses a couple of positions, and Fennessy says, hey, I'll take it. In the meantime, Pereira is starting to sneak up on some of the heavier bikes. Once again, spectators, please, I, I have to have you over the inside of the wall, and we cannot have you on the wall. Thank you. just comes across the start finish line to take that halfway flag. Dana Anderson on that number 622 EX comes across start finish. on that XV920. Haven't seen him out here for a while. He came back out on that big old Yamaha. He's doing it extremely well. Ted Lumpkin, who is, I think, at about third in the point standings in this battle of the twin silver weight class. I'm not exactly sure about that. I think he is. Gary Mansfield gets past Gary Patton on the Ducati, so you got a couple of Ducatis kind of dicing it up. George Level starting to make his move on, I believe it's Gerald Dinehart. So you got a pretty tight race going for that lightweight class back there in about second position. As Chris Allen on that Laverta comes across the line, it's a very beautiful motorcycle, that number 878 Laverta. If you get a chance to see it in the pits, it really is a nice bike. sights on Bill Fennessy back there running in about third position in that heavyweight class. Jason Pereira currently first in the in the lightweight class is starting to catch up on some of the heavier weight riders. George Lello manages to get past Daryl Dinehart coming around down through five there earlier in this lap. We got some good position changing here. We got some good racing going between these mighty four-stroke singles. Attention riders, riders entered in races number 12 and 13. There have been changes in grid positions, races number 12 and 13, riders. Please recheck your grid position for these races. Dominé coming into turn number 8. Very smooth, easy ride on that XB920. Through six, 
Looks like Gary Parrish putting his sights on Wild Bill Fantasy. Passes him coming down the back straightaway. As John Monet comes across the line in the first position in that heavyweight class. Ken Lumpkin it comes to a rather comfortable second position. Some carving up going coming out of turn nine here between these lightweight and heavyweight riders. Looks like you got Gary Pack coming down in third in that heavyweight class. He's followed in fourth by Fantasy counting his gas tank. George Level sneaks up on Pereira. Jason Pereira is a high five and coming down <laughs> into turn number one. Level in a surprise move came around nine using some of the slower traffic as a screen. I think it kind of duped Pereira into a false sense of security and Level almost caught him at the finish line. Excellent, excellent racing tactic on the part of George Lovell, but Pereira manages to hold him up for the victory in that lightweight Battle of the Twins class. This being the checkered flag, this will be your last, last call, 750 at Open Super Street. 750 at Open Super Street, final call to the free grid, immediately please.